In this video, we are gonna cover one of the most important modifications you need if you plan on overlanding your sixth generation Bronco, and that is a roof rack. Welcome to part one of the Overland Essentials gear guide for your sixth generation Bronco. And this episode is sponsored by Trail Racks. I will leave an affiliate link in the description for Trail Racks, which helps the channel out a lot if you choose to use it. And it doesn't cost you a thing other than the rack, of course. This series is my opinion based on the deficiencies that I've identified through the use of the Bronco Badlands and done in order in which I think is most important. It is important to note that the Bronco Badlands comes with rock sliders and bash plates. If your vehicle does not come with those things, that should probably be the first thing that you address, whether you think you're gonna do hardcore off-roading or not. Those are super, super important modifications. Uh, to make right off the bat because if you damage any of those components They'll leave you stranded on a trail because the ones that come with the Badlands are good enough It has freed up some of my modification money to focus it elsewhere Let me also say that if you don't have recovery gear That is one of the first things you need to do regardless of how you plan on using your vehicle Recovery gear is so important because you never know what's going to happen on the trail You don't know if anyone else is going to be out there to be able to save you or recover you So to be able to have stuff like traction boards kinetic ropes shackles um, Stuff like that is super important. However in this series. I want to focus on Bronco specific deficiencies Recovery gear is something that everyone needs and you should certainly look at that before any of this stuff also, if you disagree with anything that I've said or have different opinions as to how you would modify your Bronco, please put that in the comments below. As I said, this is my opinion, so if you have something that is different or your use case is a little bit different, that might help someone else out in the comments. Use this video for what you will, but also check out the comments if our ideas don't quite align, because there might be someone in the comments who can help you out more. Okay, let's get into it. So the best roof rack you can get for your sixth generation Bronco without question is the Trail Racks Modular Rack or the Tremor for short. There are different racks on the market but none of them come close to the capability and quality as the Tremor. The rack is an all aluminum construction with a 90 degree bend on the top of the side rails. That 90 degree bend increases structural rigidity and strength of the rack which is why its capacity is so much higher than everyone else's. That aluminum construction also keeps the weight of the rack down and prevents the rack from corrosion and rust that happens long term with components like this that are exposed to the elements all the time. The Tremor is completely bolt-on installation using the factory mounting points, meaning installation is super easy. It also has enough space so you can still remove the removable roof panels that come on the Bronco hardtops. If you choose any other rack on the market, you will be giving up your ability to do that. I've done a separate review, which I will link up here, but for some quick stats, the Tremor Rack will hold 300 pounds of dynamic weight and 850 pounds of static weight. That is far and above what anyone else can offer on the market currently. The rack also only adds 3.85 inches to the overall height of the Bronco. So if you have the Bronco Sasquatch, it sits at around 78 inches. So with this, with this rack on it, you're looking at 82 inches of overall height. And then I have an iCamper uh, SkyCamp Mini. That's 13 inches, so 13 inches above that puts you at about 95 inches of overall height if you're running the tent as well. Another massive benefit to the Tremor is the pack racks. Others have tried to copy this, but the fact is this is currently the best one that's available on the market, largely in part because it is mounted to the body of the Bronco. You remove the back hardtop, put these plates directly to the body itself, put the hardtop back on, and that's what the rack packs mount to. Because it is mounted to the body and then attached to the roof rack, each rack will hold 70 pounds. There is a wide variety of mounting systems that you can get to them. I chose the axe and shovel mount for one side and then the universal traction board mount for the other. But you can do all sorts of other things from, um, from mounting water ports or roto packs for gas or water 
or get creative and do your own sort of mounts if you wanna mount something else on there. There's a ton you can do with those and it's so good to have that external storage to move more things out of the vehicle when you travel. Furthermore, having those rack packs means there's less to actually put on the rack itself. So right now I have a SkyCamp Mini, which means I have enough room to put uh, some storage boxes up there. Um, but right now I have my traction boards mounted there. Let's say you have something like a, a full size iCamper SkyCamp or maybe a wedge style tent. The difference with wedge style tents is typically those have crossbars so you can mount some stuff on there, but with an iCamper you don't. And that takes up the entire roof rack. So if you have the rack packs, that's not an issue because you still have external mounting options even with the rack completely taken up by a tent. Coming from a truck where I had bed bars, that external storage on the side was really, really important to me. I ran my traction boards there for a long time. I then ran a shovel there for a long time. So I've always had something mounted to the side of the vehicle like that. And I found that it's very helpful to have that stuff there. Stuff that you want easily accessible and stuff that you don't want in your vehicle. That's a great place to be able to store those things. So let's say you're not gonna put a rooftop tent on here or you're not into overlanding or maybe you're gonna ground tent or something like that. A roof rack is still one of the first things you should consider doing. It just, it simply opens up a whole new world of possibility. And if you're anything like me, the less I have in my vehicle when I'm traveling, the better. I don't like a cluttered cabin. I don't like things moving around and shifting and making a lot of noise. So the more I can put outside of the vehicle for me, the better. For example, let's say you just wanna go off-roading. That's, that's why you have the Bronco. The roof rack, allows you to mount all of your recovery gear out there. Your, your high lift jack, your traction boards, your kinetic ropes. I mean, you can mount pretty much everything on the roof rack and not have to carry that stuff in the vehicle itself, which is massively beneficial for getting the stuff out there, not having it in the vehicle. But at the end of the day, when you use that stuff and it's filthy, you don't have to put it in your vehicle. You can put it on the outside, hose it down on your way home, and then you don't have a mess to take care of in the car. Another example, when I go out with my entire family, we ground tent. So I take the rooftop tent off, which allows me to put whatever kind of storage solution I wanna put up there, whether it be a Thule roof box, maybe some Rome or Pelican cases, or even a soft roof bag. I can put all of our overnight essentials, clothes, um, tent, chairs, stuff like that. I can put all of that on the roof and transport that there rather than taking up room in the car, which is awesome because that frees up room for my family. Since I don't have to carry all of that stuff in the cabin of the Bronco, I have room for my wife and my son and my two big dogs. Um, and I have room to put my fridge in there because all of that stuff is on the outside of the vehicle where we don't have to worry about packing it super, super tight just to be able to go camp. So the roof rack is the first thing that I purchased for my Bronco and hopefully at this point you can see why and you can see how important it really is for overland use specifically, but really for anyone who's gonna use it as an adventure rig, regardless of what you're doing. So hit the link in the description if you wanna pick one up for yourself. If you found this video helpful, uh, give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing. This is part one of a series that I'm gonna be doing for all the modifications I do on my Bronco. So if you're interested in seeing how that goes, definitely subscribe and stick around. What I mainly do on this channel is adventure videos. So if you wanna see the Bronco in use and see the cool places that I get to go to, consider subscribing as well. Until next time, I hope you're able to get off the grid and off the grind, and I'll see you in the next one.